Hey everybody, Ken here, CCG Vlog, uh, coming at you this week with a mini vlog about our new CCG Deep Stacks tournament. What are CCG Deep Stacks tournaments, you ask? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you. Um, right now, we do our normal Deep Stack tournaments are Fridays at 6.30, Saturdays at 4 o'clock, and Sundays at noon. This is our standard Deep Stack tournament, so unless there's something special going on like the stack tournament or a mini stack tournament or a bounty tournament, you know, or other variations there is. Um, our normal CCG deep stacks tournament, this is what they're going to be. We're making a few changes to the structure. We're making a few changes to the price. Um, doing a whole new big blind anti structure. So that's totally different. We're doing some different things on color ups. We're doing less color ups, um, more race offs, and we're actually giving less opportunities to do color ups, but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. CCG Deep Stacks. We're rebranding our everyday tournament to be better, right? I want players to be excited about CCG Deep Stack tournaments, which is why we're just going to call them CCG Deep Stacks. So our normal tournament, CCG Deep Stacks, cost you 120 bucks. There is a $10 optional add-on before the start of the tournament to get you an extra 10k in chips. So if you do the full $130 buy-in, that's 120 bucks. Plus the $10 add-on gets you to 30,000 in chips, 20-minute levels. Basically the same idea of what we were doing on Saturdays. We're just going to make it across the board every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday. The CCG Deep Stacks tournament is going to be the same price. That way people aren't confused about Fridays and Saturdays being slightly different. Um, we still have plenty of opportunities for players that want to be under that $100 budget. Um, you still have other options for that. We just wanted to make the Deep Stacks tournament a little deeper and we can do that at that $120 price point. So in the 120, $100 goes in the price pool, 20 bucks is what the hosting charity keeps. There is a $10 optional optional add-on. Hosting charity is gonna keep that as well to get you an extra 10K in chips. So 30K all day, 20 minute levels. So that brings us to, we are doing a deeper structure. Um, we're not actually giving you any more chips, but we, we have added several levels to our structure, right? So the Big blind anti-structure, we have added, good Lord, we've added 500, 1,000. We've added 1,200, 2,400. Uh, we've also added 6,000, 12,000, 12,000, 24,000. I mean, there's lots of good stuff here that wasn't there before. Um, so we've added some more levels for you. We have not taken any levels out. We did remove green chips from the starting stack, so the blinds are now going to start at 100, 100. And then the second blinds are going to be 100, 200, 100, 300, 200, 300, and then 200, 400 to finish it up. So it's the same basic idea. We're just kind of switching it up a little bit. So the small blinds, you might be playing a little bit more. Um, but I think in the long run, it really helps the tournament structure-wise. It gives you a deeper stack. It gives you more playabilities and that's the whole point of us making these changes. Um, so we've added some more levels, um, doing less race-offs, or actually we're doing race-offs now instead of color-ups, so that's good. No longer will we just color up, we will be doing some race-offs, and we really only need to do it at one time prior to the final table, uh, which will be on the third break between 3,000, 6,000, 4,000, 8,000. We can color up all of the black and purple chips, so the $100 chips and the $500 chips. We can race those off in the break. So the third break of every tournament, that's what we're going to do. It makes it simpler where we don't have to do a color up at every single um every single break. It makes it easier for you guys. Uh, the biggest change that you're going to see in the CCG Deep Stacks in general is this big blind anti-structure. When you think about it, it's super easy, right? So big blind anti-structure means that as of this Friday and moving through the end of the year, um, we are going to do the big blind anti, which means you will have a small blind and then a big blind, and then the big blind will post double the big blind, one of them being his big blind, one of them being the antis for the rest of the table. So instead of, let's just say the blinds are 1,000, 2,000 with a $200 ante and there's 10 players at the table, the regular ante structure, every single player is going to ante $200 in chips for 2,000 total in antes. And then there's a the small blind and the big blind. The way the big blind ante works is just a big blind is paying for everyone else's antes and it eliminates the fact of having to collect it from every single person. It also means when you're playing at a full table, you're going to get eight free hands before you have to pay anything in a deep stack structure. So when you get short stacked, or if you're one of those tighter players, you don't have to worry about 
chipping off all of those little antis every single hand. So if you take a bad beat and you're down to only 20K in chips or 10K in chips and the blinds are getting up there, 5,000, 10,000, when you only got two big blinds, it makes a huge difference where you don't have to pay any of those antis and you can really pick and choose a big hand to play. It makes those short stacks play a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, so again, big blind ante. Uh, the big blind is going to post a double big blind and that's going to take care of all of the antis. Um, you're going to get more hands in per level because of the fact that the dealer doesn't have to take time to collect them from every single player. So we should get more hands in an hour, which means you're going to get more playability, which in turn makes your stacks deeper. That's the whole point of this is to give the players a better structure. So big blind ante changes, anything different. Um, we do two things different from a big blind ante structure um, playability wise. If you can only supply enough to pay one or the other, antes are gonna be collected first, and then a player will post their big blind. So for example, let's say you only have 20,000 in chips, and the blinds are 10,000, 20,000 with a 20,000 big blind ante, and you're the big blind, you owe 40,000, but you only got 20,000 in chips. The way that's gonna work is, you're gonna put your 20,000 in for your ante first, meaning you're all in and you can no longer win any more chips, and then the big blind will just be, a, you know, you will not have enough to put in the big blind. Some places do it backwards. Um, we find that this way is more fair for the rest of the field because everybody has to pay their ante. When you play in an ante tournament, you collect the antes first and then you post the blinds. This is the same principle and that's what we're gonna follow and that's what the rule is going to be for CCG. Um, with that being said, we do have a full list of all of our rules on the website. If you go to ccgpoker.com slash MTT, which stands for multi-table tournaments, um, all of our structure sheets are up there, all of the schedules are up there, all of the, um, the TDA rules are up there for you as well. So it's a good page to go to if you have any questions. Um, last but not least, I wanted to go over, oh, actually there's one more change for final table players. When you make it down to the final table of a big blind anti-tournament, when you get down to six players just for the final table, no other times, we are going to reduce the big blind by half. Meaning, if again, the blinds are super deep in a tournament, there are 20,000, 40,000, 40,000 is the big blind ante. When we get down to six players, we're gonna reduce that big blind ante by half. So basically it's gonna become the small blind. So if it's 20, 40,000, 20,000, 40,000, and you're down to six players, the ante will only be 20,000. Because as we get down to less players, that big blind ante does become a little less beneficial for the player. Um, so we wanna make sure we can play as deep as possible. So some of those levels that we did add are very late in the tournament. So it gives those final table players a little bit more time and a little bit more um, you know, structure to be able to play deeper into the tournament. So it'll be really helpful in that case. Short of that, same price across the board for CCG Deep Stacks, $120 new price range. We're trying to get a deeper structure so we can give you guys a better core tournament. I want you guys to get excited about the deep stack tournament again. I'm hoping this will help us do it. We are switching to that big blind ante. Super easy. If you have any questions, just let me know. But again, it's as easy as it sounds. The big blind's going to post a double big blind. Half of it's going to be antes. Half of it's going to be his big blind. Um, we are going to race off chips from now on. We're not going to color up. Um, and hopefully we bring in every a better everyday tournament uh, to our players, which is what is most important to us. So if you have any questions, hit us up in that comment area. If you're on Facebook, hit that like button. If you think your friends might be interested in CCG, hit that share button on Facebook. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit that uh, subscribe button and hit the bell because then you'll be notified every time I come up with a new vlog and I promise I'll do more fun stuff and other ones and they won't just be about new information like this one. We do have a bad beat story one that I'm working on, so stay tuned for that as well. But uh, if there's no other questions, you, any, any, anybody have any questions? No, over there, nothing? All right, see everybody, thank you.